What's up guys, Aaron Productions here and today on this fine Easter evening we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool modification or module I guess you could say for the System Sensor PA400R Mini Horn. Now this modification that I'm going to show you is a separate accessory. It's made by System Sensor so it's not some third party thing. Now I'm not talking about a lens, a cover, or a label even though it can't really have any of those things. I guess it could have a label on it. But I'm talking about something that would pretty much change the category that this device is in. Now looking over the device itself from the front, you don't have to even look in the back, you could see that there are two little holes. One at the top and one at the bottom. At first these holes could seem like just something that you would insert a screwdriver in to maybe pop off the front or remove it somehow. These are actually for something completely different. Now you may be wondering what that is. And that is actually this device right here, which is the PS24LO strobe. This is manufactured by System Sensor, as you can clearly see right here. And it's pretty cool that you could actually see inside the device a little bit. Now I did buy this device a while back and based off it just having these two little metal strips back here, how am I supposed to wire anything up to this? I thought this was just some random part taken off of whatever, kind of similar to a mass strobe. So I figured I'd just have it around for fun. It was only a few dollars, so I figured I might as well snatch it. But then one day I was looking over this device and I figured, well, these kind of go nice together. Maybe I would actually be able to modify this to put this on here. But then I realized that these are actually manufactured to go together. And you guessed it, these two devices are meant to go together. You just insert the two metal tabs into the two slots on the front, as you see here. And now the device is connected up to the horn. Now, I'm not sure why, but my device, for some reason, is a newer version or something that doesn't have the clips for this to go into. Now, usually I'll put up a picture of one that I found online but usually this would be able to clip into there so obviously this isn't really meant to go with this exact same device but they do sell the model that would go with this one thing to note is that the red striped thing which is at the top of the device must go into the top of the mini horn as you can see the two terminals are at the top now this is where the positive is connected so this is polarity sensitive and that's how it's properly installed now you may look at this and say you just showed some copper strips inside some piece of plastic so like how is this supposed to work but taking this device apart we can clearly see that there are two connectors at the top and the bottom for this device to connect to if i show it with the device opened you can see how this is inserted inside the hole and it makes a tight connection to the back and this is how the power is supplied this is the positive connector, this is the negative, positive goes straight to here, negative goes through a couple traces down to the bottom. I think this is awesome. Now usually you would have to buy a separate device if you wanted to have a horn strobe or a mini horn and a mini horn strobe. A regular device can't be modified without some harsh modification that may also void your warranty. And it also deciphers that this is actually a fire alarm. Now this might not be a big deal with the red ones, but with the tan ones and the sound that it makes, it just basically looks like it's some sort of security alarm. And although I think this is cool, I question how safe it is. Now, obviously this isn't the correct device for this, but even with the clip on it, how safe would it be if this was to get hit with a ball or something? This would just fly completely off. And also, these tabs, as you can see, this one is bent. So even when inserting this in here, it may not even be making contact with this as you can see it currently isn't actually now this might not be a big deal if you have good installers but what if you don't and they just making sure that they can hear the audible noise throughout all the hotel rooms or whatever obviously this poses some sort of safety hazard probably be concerned if the strobe wasn't working what do you guys think about this should this be left in the consumer or the factory should we be able to modify alarms like this Put up in the poll and let me know what you guys think and also drop down some comments. And while I still have your attention, I've been planning for a while now and I just posted on my story that I'm planning on doing a live streaming every Friday so I can just get to talk to you guys. It won't be saved or anything, but for more information, just check out my website. There's going to be everything on there from now on. 
all updates, all everything, maybe some things on the BTS channel, but the number one thing now is the website, so make sure you check that out. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.